Hi everybody, this is Maddie from TotallyMaddie.com. I wanted to show you something. So I had a friend of mine who came yesterday and we, we made brigade, brigadeiros. She's from Brazil and this is a treat that they do in Brazil. It's called brigadeiros. So they are chocolate with chocolate sprinkles. It's a staple in any activity that they do in Brazil. And then she mentioned something that in her, by the way, these are delicious, like amazing. So if she mentioned something during the video, she said, hey, you can make it different ways, but one of my favorite ways, it is when they make it with coconut, with shredded coconut, sweetened shredded coconut. And they call something different. And I, I don't know if I can pronounce this correctly, but I'm gonna try it. They call beijinos. Um, it's, I'm gonna spell it because I know some people that speak Portuguese are gonna be like, ah, she killed out. So it's B E I J I N H O S. So those are the ones, they're kind of like the same concept as Brigadeiros, but they are made with shredded coconut. So I am going to make it right now. I'm going to attempt to make it. And it, just, it just sounds so good. Shredded coconut, condensed milk. I mean, come on, I'm in. So here are the ingredients for making this delicious Brazilian treat. They're so simple and if we spice up anything like birthdays, weddings, holidays that are just around the corner, it would just be amazing. So I'm thinking now I'm making like a little holiday treat. So here we go. And you can freeze these, which you can make some and then freeze it, but they're so easy to make. So you need one tablespoon of butter, real butter, no margarine, tablespoon of butter. And we need one can of sweet condensed milk and one and a half cup of sweetened shredded coconut and you can buy those just know that when you open a bag of shredded coconut you have to put it in the fridge once it's open you have to put it on the fridge i don't want anybody getting rancid coconut okay so here we go i have my um i have my butter already melted here so let me just move this over so you can see what i'm doing oh and i did butter a plate because we need to cool these off after they are, to cool them up a little bit because we need to shape the little um, circles, the little chocolate delici delicious truffles. <laughs> so we have to do that. So I have a tablespoon of butter already melted in here. I wanted to accelerate the process. And then to that, we are going to add one can of sweet condensed milk. And this is dangerous. You have heard me talking about this before. When you open a can of condensed milk, I'm in. I used to eat this when I was a little girl. My grandma used to open condensed milk to make some kind of treat. And they had to hide them from me. Because I was like, woo. Now, my friend told me that once you start making this process, you have to stay here. And I have the heat on medium low. I, got it. I, I have a, a gas stove and I have it on number five. So um, I was watching her yesterday when she was making the chocolate one, the bigaderos, and um, I think I'm getting better about saying that name. So that's what, we, that's what she had it on, that's what I'm gonna do. And to these, we are going to add one and a half cups of shredded coconut. So here's my one. She said that this was way, this was her favorite, way more than the chocolate ones. I cannot even wait because I love the chocolate one. So, but I love coconut too. So, this is like amazing for me. So, let's try these. I'm going to start with these. I think she used this yesterday because she had cocoa powder. But I'm going to start whisking it a little bit. And then that. So, this is the part where you have to remember that you have to keep stirring. That's what she was saying. Once you start stirring, you have to continue stirring. And then what we're waiting right now is, and I want you to check this out a little bit. You see how it's not separating? You see how the liquid just kind of goes back to it? I hope you can see that. You see how the liquid just kind of like runs back? We are waiting now for the lip, for this to thicken up and condense a little more, more and get a little bit thicker, get more like a vanilla pudding consistency. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells amazing. I do have to add that we are going to put it, after we cook these, we are going to put these on a butter dish, then we're going to put it on the, on the refrigerator for it to cool off, 
I think yesterday we waited like 10, 15 minutes for it to cool off because you need to be able to handle this. You can actually burn yourself. This is sugar. So you can actually burn your palm of your hand, your digits. Um, so anyway, so I just made sure that you let this cool before you handle it. So make sure that you have enough time. To, so if you're gonna serve these, you wanna do this at like at least like two hours or three hours before you're gonna do them because it is a step process. You have to cook it, you have to cool it, you have to, um, the longer that you let it cool, the more that it sets. Uh, some people let it cool for an hour. I was reading yesterday in preparation to the to the video that we did yesterday for the bigaderos. Um, so anyway, so you know, you just set it and then you shake them, and then after that, you have to put them back in the fridge again. Um, I do have to tell you that she did tell me that instead of putting chocolate sprinkles on these, which is just you can top it with whatever you want, instead of doing that, you put granulated sugar, white granulated sugar. So. I have that already said, but can you tell that it's starting to bubble up a little? Turn it up a little bit. You see, it's still, when you do it, I hope you can see these. When you do it, when you try to separate it, it goes back in. So you don't want that. You want them to, when you want to separate it, you want it to stay. So now that way, that way you know it's ready. And this smells amazing. And if this makes, she told me that it makes in between 20 to 25 um, little, um, little shaped little balls but um, you can double the recipe if you want to it's okay to double the recipe so again the recipe was one tablespoon of butter one can of condensed milk and one one and a half cups of sweetened shredded coconut so that's the basic recipe to make this beige I wish I knew how to speak Portuguese. Beginios, beginios. Um, they look amazing, by the way. Oh, they smell. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So, this is like great little treats. Imagine making these, like having a little basket with the chocolate one, and then with this coconut one. How delicious is that? How amazing your neighbors are gonna think you are, or your teachers, or your friends, or oh my gosh, this is like so amazing. So still, it's still, when I separate it, it's still getting together. So we have a little ways to go. So I'm assuming, I mean, I'm not sure about it, but yesterday I think it took us like five minutes to get this process going. You don't really want it to bring to a point of a boil. You just wanna thicken it up and you just wanna keep moving because what happens if you don't move it, it's going to burn and who wants to be burned condensed milk that's that was yucky and you want to ruin this deliciousness this heaven 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 dessert in your mouth so anyway so this is just getting there so if i let it go i can see a little bit of the simmering process around the edges i'm so excited i cannot wait to try these this is going to be like this is, gonna, this is gonna be amazing for me. So let's go ahead and get these going. And we're just gonna continue stirring until it starts. You see, still, it's, we're starting to get thicker. I can feel that it's starting to get thicker, but it's still joining back together when I try to separate it. So let's just continue cooking it and see what happens. So as you can tell, we're starting to get a little more action here. It's starting to get thicker consistency. It's starting to separate more as we go. So I'm gonna cook it a little bit longer, just to make sure. <laughs> but it's starting to go, to, and all those flavors are getting merry. Oh my gosh. It's sweet condensed milk, sweet condensed milk and coconut and like butter. Hello, how can you go wrong? And this is ready. See how it's separating now? Um, this is amazing and we're going to not burn ourselves and separate these let's see and this is ready you see how I have separated now so now what we're gonna do is turn it off so now I turn it off and now we're going to put it in here on this butter dish because we want it butter so in that way it doesn't stick to it so this is amazing here so let's go ahead and do these safety first 
Let's put it in here. And here is going to stay in the refrigerator for 15, maybe 20 minutes until it cools off. This is really hot. Don't burn yourself, people. So again, the recipe was one tablespoon of butter, one can of condensed milk, and one and a half cup of shredded sweetened coconut. And then we cook this up. And when it's separated, we did it. So we're going to make this up. Right here, I'm going to put a little hole in the middle, maybe it, cook, cook. it will cool quicker. We're going to put this in the refrigerator, and we're going to go back, and we're going to, and we're going to taste them. <laughs> we're going to shape them and taste them. Okay. Hi, you guys. We are back, and we have the, the, um, the mixture is already cooled off. So what I'm doing right now is I am buttering my hands. This is really important because you know you're gonna have a very sticky mess. So put butter in your hands so when you roll them, they slide right in. So we have it. We have the mixture already cooled off. We have the granulated sugar. So let's do these. Oh my God, I am so excited to try these. And you can tell that they got the consistency got thicker. So we're gonna go, it kind of looks like a thick, thick, thick pudding. And you put it on the granulated sugar. Oh my gosh, they look so pretty. They look like little snowballs. And, oh, they look so pretty. And remember, you can freeze these, but you do have to keep them in the refrigerator after you do this. Nothing that you leave outside. Look at how pretty. They look like little snowballs. My gosh, this is delicious. Oh, I can't wait. So let's make another one. So we have here. We roll them up. I put like a, I like a teaspoon, tablespoon. You can make them as big as little as you want to. But I mean, hello. So that's it. And then we put it again on the ground. Let's sugar. Now I was thinking that it would be kind of fun to also maybe toast some coconut and put toasted coconut on there. I know, like endless possibilities and and endless. It does look like little snow, like little snowballs. So anyway. So those are little Brazilian delicious estrofinous Vegios. I'm hoping I'm saying this right. But again, you can make this different ways. I have a couple of things that um, I have made them with. I have made the chocolate one, which are called brigadeiros. Um, and then I have also made them with, um, with Oreo cookies. Like you use the filling of the Oreo cookie and the outside is like the pulverized crust of the Oreo cookie. You can also make them with just the brigadeiros and then use like, like really cool sprinkles. Again, let me just show you again. These are the brigadeiros. Chocolate with chocolate sprinkles. That's really, and these are the beginos. So they look, they really look like little snowballs. They look so pretty. Imagine that, how pretty that will be if you do like a line of the coconut one and the line of the chocolate one and line of the coconut one and line of the chocolate one how cool is that or every other one you can have a really good holiday party and your neighbors will think that you're amazing because you made this brazilian truffles and they're just delicious and i am going to go and i'm going to eat them you have to put them back in the fridge let them set and then you can go ahead and eat them you can freeze them if you want to make a bunch or for later on, just make sure that you saw them out before you give them to your, to your friend. Or make sure that you keep them up here because they are milk, okay? So anyway, I thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to do a little holiday cool little treats. So I hope that you can join me again. And again, subscribe to my website, totallymaddie.com. And we can have like little fun little tips of things that I like. So see you later. Bye-bye. Adios.